After publishing a video each week, I spend several hours reading your comments, looking at your recommendations for future video ideas, and then trying to see if I can put those to good use. Today's video comes from at least three to 400 of those leaving comments. Again, I read thousands of comments and I get a lot of great ideas, so this is just one of many that I plan to do. So keep those ideas coming. Today's project is going to be testing out Everclear, which is an alcoholic beverage that's 190 proof. This is some powerful alcohol. So what I wanna know and what you guys have asked me to find out is what's gonna to happen to an engine Will it even run on Everclear? If it does, is it going to cause the engine to run cold, run hot? What's it going to do with regard to cleaning up the carbon? What does it look like running through a see-through engine? I've got one of those, so we're going to run that test. Anyway, i got a lot of ideas for testing Everclear, so let's get this project underway. I'll be using Everclear on three different engines today, so I've got to be careful not to use too much for one engine. So I'm only going to be using eight ounces in the uh, first engine. In order for an engine to run alcohol, it requires a higher rate of alcohol than gas, and unfortunately this engine does not have an adjustable jet. So what I'm going to do is just add a piece of tape to the mouth of the carburetor, which will act very much like a choke, increasing the fuel flow, and it should run. I'm gonna go ahead and try to install the gas vapor kit that I used in a previous video. But uh, basically the way this works is that air flows through these two pipes down into the liquid and it creates a vapor as it bubbles up. The engine then draws in vapors through this, through this hose and I can regulate the flow of the amount of vapors and the air mix into the engine. Okay, so I decided to buy a new bottle of Everclear just because I didn't have enough to really make this system work. So I'm going to go ahead and add that now. So obviously gasoline and alcohol are very different in how they burn, but which one's more volatile? The only way we can really find out is to go ahead and put some alcohol and gasoline on cardboard, light it on fire, and I think we'll have this one figured out. 
To my right is gasoline and to my left is alcohol. Well, if you're trying to clean out the alcohol closet, this might be a way to get rid of some of your alcohol. Just run it through your small engine. I would not recommend running this through a car. It did not burn too well. This engine has a non-adjustable carburetor, and that's why I had to use a piece of tape and a piece of aluminum to sort of choke the engine to get it to run. I was quite impressed that the engine actually ran off of vapors. So this is 190 proof, so I guess it makes sense that it would run off of it. Also, if you've been, like me, you've been around someone who's had a little too much to drink and you've always wondered, man, is their breath flammable? Well, it turns out their breath might just be flammable. But whatever you do, please do not put a match up to someone's mouth that's had too much to drink. This is just a joke. But uh, anyway, I really work hard to make these videos better, both educational as well as entertaining. I hope I've done a good job this time. If so, I hope you give me a thumbs up. But if I need to work on something, I'd really like to hear your comments on that. Just want to say thank you very much for watching the video. I'm looking forward to reading your comments, and I'm looking forward to seeing you next time.